Hey there everyone, Atay here, back again with another video and welcome to the series of React Native. First of all, thank you so much for keeping the patience. I was not able to upload videos from last couple of days, in fact more than that. I was suffering from a severe case of a throat infection. I'm still on the recovery mode so I won't be pushing myself too much so that I mess up my health. I won't be doing that this time. But it's good enough that I can push at least a couple of videos in a one or two day in the frequency. And in this video, we're going to be finishing up our first app, although the app is almost complete, but there is one more topic which I wanted to cover. This topic will give you a little bit idea about how to explore things as we go further. And after this video, I'll also make a video about what we have learned so far so that we all can come up onto the same page and we can explore what we have uh, gathered so far. So moving on. So as we saw, this is the code a segment that we worked on in the last video, pretty easy one. And uh, there were a couple of typos that I made. I'm pretty sure you might have already noticed that. So we actually introduced this dark mode as a variable, as a boolean. It is giving us the values by using this simple method use color scheme. We didn't talk about it, so it's obviously a good time that we should talk about this in this video. And we said if the dark mode is available, let's get a variable as true, otherwise false. And based on that, we actually designed a few styles. Uh, white text and the dark text, nothing too extraordinary in that, really basic. Uh, so if the dark mode is true, then we want the text to be uh, dark. And if the dark mode is false, then we want to make it white. So obviously this is a reverse of the logic that we are going through. So this is what we have. And we can see the text is dark in this case. But let's just say dark mode is enabled. So we want to make it uh, onto the light mode. So all we have to do is uh, simply uh, we can go up and instead of dark text, I can go ahead and say white text. <laughs> save that auto reload happens and we get the uh, refreshing text so we realize that we can actually design a pretty easy way that how we can have two modes in our app just based on this one variable we can design two styling in our app one can be made for the light mode one can be made for the dark mode and you can go really crazy in that maybe you want different icon set to load on the light mode maybe different icon set on the uh, uh, dark mode and have more styling but the important question that we have in front of us is what is this use color scheme that we have and we should really be talking about it? This is exactly the moment where you learn how to learn by yourself. Surely tutorials are great, but eventually you have to go through in the documentation itself. So let me go ahead and move it up here, uh, the documentation that we are going to study. So uh, this is the variable or this is the property which actually gives us. So notice here we are importing the use color scheme uh, in the code segment itself. If I go ahead and open up the codes, uh, code segment, let me just show you the code files as well. Notice here we are using this color scheme and we are importing this. So this is exactly what we are doing up here. And if I go up here, uh, can we turn it into dark mode? Yep, much better now. So notice here the use color scheme is a react hook which is provided to us by color scheme updates from the appearance module so it should be your responsibility to also explore a little bit about the appearance and you will notice that it's not like too much of a big documentation but it should be read by people so appearance module exposes the information of users appearance preference in their preference color scheme so these days in all of the mobiles, web browsers, almost all applications have this user preference setting. This is available to us by appearance and in the React Native, this same thing uh, comes to us using this hook, which is use color scheme. So we don't have to dig up into the appearance, take out the values, we don't have to do it. We simply can take this hook and it will do the job. So notice here, the supposed color schemes are light, dark and null. So based on this, we can define our parameters. Some examples are given here. Although these examples are on Expo, uh, but since this is a common practice between the CLI and the Expo, this can be done exactly the same. So notice how easy it was to read the documentation and explore one line. So now in the interview, if, if anybody asks you about how can you design the color scheme, you can actually explain him so much in depth that how this is how it works. This is the appearance module. This is the hook we can actually go for. And these small things actually makes you a better programmer. So with this, I would say that yes, we have done a pretty good job in the very first of our application. And I would call it absolutely a day here. That's it. Our application one is all done. And before we go further, I would also like to mention a lot of people here. So uh, let me go on to hash node. And on the hash node, if you go up here and try to look for the tags uh, like React Native, let me just search for it. React dash native. 
And if we go up into the latest segment of this, notice how much people are actually building and all of this. So uh, a lot of people are beginner's guide, styling component. These are all the tags and articles being written by the people who are following these series, React Native components and all of that. So my recommendation is please go ahead, write more articles, read from here. This is the community that we are building up. So a big shout out and thanks to our sponsor Hashnode for uh, making us possible to make this video. In case you face any doubt in installation or anything, our Discord server is open. Feel free to post up there. People are really kind there to help you out. And definitely look forward for the next video where I'll summarize all the things that we have done. And I'll also walk you through what we are building next up.